Hello there and welcome to today's class. For today, we're trying to produce the isometric projection that you are seeing at the right hand side of the screen. The question says we are told to produce that uh, figure in isometric projection. So, first things first, our first task when it comes to isometric projection, your first task is to draw your isometric axis. So, my first task here is to draw my isometric axis. Here in this case, I'll have something of this nature. I'll pick a point here, All right? And I will draw a 90 degrees this way. So incline to 30 degree, right? Next tax, I will take it this way. Incline to um, 30 degree here. Yeah? So this is what we refer to isometric axis. I won't done with this man here. Yeah? The next task is to get the length, height, and breadth of the figure. My entire length of the figure is 90. So from here, this is 90 to here. So this is from, from 1, from 0 to 9 is 90. I'm done with my length. My breadth is given to be 40. As you can see, from here to here is 40. 40. Right? 40. When you are done with that, the entire height of that figure there should be um, should be the entire height there should be um, 40 as you can see. So measure 40 from year to year is 40. With these three points, I will produce out a box with which that figure is being got formed. So take this one up the faint line. Take this guy here too up this way next tax i'll bend this this way i'll connect this with this right procedure i'll connect this man here to this similarly um as you can see what i'm doing i'll take this point here i'll extend this edge point here down this way such that this one here will consign with this line here in this sense so this is the boss with which that figure is being got from right so what's my first tax here my first tax is to um establish the figure right so observe that from here to somewhere here is 12 so measure 12 from here to somewhere here is 12 that's 1.2 1 1.2 here is 12 also here to somewhere here is 12 that's 1.2 this 1.2 right when i'm done with that also measure 12 inward here is 12 right so this is 16 as you can see that's 16 there um next tax is to um obviously take this point inward take this point inward this one take it in right and just transfer Instead of measuring 12 like this, I can just transfer this one. This 12 I measured here earlier, transfer it here. Right? So this is 12, 12, and the 12 inward here. This is 12 here too. But this is what 16. Right? So it means that um, at each point there, observe that the height is a height of 10. Right? So I'll take each point upward this way, the faint line. I'll take each point upward. Each point upward as you can see what i'm doing i'll take each point upward come here i'll take this upward too so at that point i took upward i'll take one i'll measure 10 right and height of 10 is given there that's one centimeter come to this point here too measure one come to this point here too measure one go to this point here too and measure one as you can see so if my meter rule i'll connect point Connect this point here to this. Connect this point here. Sorry, this one to this. Right, I'll connect this point here to this. So that's what I'm doing. Close this part up. Next tax. Connect this point here to this. Connect this to this. And um, finally, connect this to this. As you can see what I'm doing. Um, I will connect this point here to this this way. 
right so i have this right as you can see what we're having at the right hand side of the screen so obviously my next tax here is to project this one here this one inward the faint line this way so having done with this what is my next tax from here obviously my next tax from here is to come to this side here there's an arc of like a circle here so let's project out that we know that from here to here is 40 so let's get the half of 40 that's 20 which is here right so come to this point here measure 20 i have my 20 here so with these two points i'll put out a square box this way take this one inward when you are done with that take this one here too this way right where they meet is at this point here so i'll take my compass measure from here to here and transfer it here so it means that i'm joining this point here to this one here do i join this one all right um my next tax is to join the longest diagonal so this is the longest diagonal here i will use my ordinate method of construction of circle to construct that circle there that ellipse perhaps so i'll connect this point here to this and connect this point here to this so i need this point here and this point here so it means that i'll come to this point connect this and this together you can see as you can see next up come to this edge here and connect this and this one together in this way all right i'm done with this next task is to take in this part here as you can see in the figure from here to here sticking sticking it next up from here to somewhere here to sticking or taking it so i have this right i have this successful right um next task is that observe something again there's a narrow um stuff here connected to this part here which is given to be thickness of eight so measure four four at this point here measure four here measure four here so measure four i can use my compass or my tarot so this is four from here to here is four from here to here is four with those four i'll transfer point here but mind you i can just um take my compass instead of me coming here this is you no know, from here to here is 16. instead of me getting the center of 16 i measure four four just come to this point here right Take this point come to this point here transfer it here next task come to this point extend it to the second one here right come to this point here transfer point so with those two points i've transferred successfully so i will take um this point first point here circle point goes up here it means that if i connect point together if i connect this man here to this and successfully connect this man here to this so i'll be having what is at the right hand side of the screen so from here what is obviously my next procedure here is just to take this one down take this point here down right and um i will use this one here to close here up this way the thick line as you can see we are getting there right we're getting close um it means that from here now I can easily um, take this point here downward with a faint line such that I will use this one to meet that line I drew downward this way then I will thicken it up close it very well the thick line I use a thick line because I don't know where it will um, this one will consign with the line so you thicken this one here so since I've gotten the place so you take this one this point here take it down here to meet this one such that you bend your t-square and connect this one this point here to this this way so i have this right then you can easily close this part here up such as this all right at uh, this point there there's um a kind of curve somewhere here a kind of curve here right a line and a kind of curve so how to get that how do you get that curve my first task is to do what i did this four stuff here do it down so observe that i will observe that i'll take this part here this one inward this way observe 
this edge here i'll transfer it down take it down so i have one um i have two observe right one two i'll take this edge here this one i'll take it down this edge take it down right i'll take this edge here too take it down so where the two edge meet right i will stand i'll make sure it's touching it's touching this edge here it's touching this line here right so such that i will connect this one here to this so observe that i'm having um four coincidental points here this is one this is two this is three this is four right it's a form, it has formed what i have here down here one two right one two three four so my next task is to join longest diagonal together using my um ruler of a house my t square any of them connect this and this together as we did here when you are done with that just transfer point take this point here take it down here next up this point here this point here I will take it down here, right? Such that this edge point here, this one here, I will put it at this point here. So I'm done with that. So my next procedure there will be just to um, start um, con this construction. I will easily take this one, draw a thick line down this way, a little bit down, such that I will come to this point there and connect the point this way I have this then I can just close here hop together then I will use my this square to close this part here to this All right so we have successfully rose out this curve here my next task now is to get this there's a circle here which is given to be 18 so 18 diameter so i'll measure what the 9 half of half of 18 so come take here the center one two three and uh, mark this part here so i'm having this point one two three four i can use my compass to construct that but i can also use my french curve this one here just um, look for the one that best suits um the circle just use for the best suit circle i think is this such that these four points we're touching the edge of the circle right let's use this one so I have this. So I have this, right? I have this. So we have successfully reproduced out the figure given there in isometric projection. If you found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the social button and like. Thank you, and welcome to WiseLink Academy. Thanks for watching.